A wave of violence in Turkey has now seen riot police clash with protesters for a fourth day running. Uh, security forces used tear gas and water cannons as protesters responded with stones and uh, homemade barricades. The activists also tried to break through police lines and attack the prime minister's office. Many have been injured, with shops and universities being turned into makeshift hospitals. The U.S. has urged the Turkish security forces to, quote, exercise restraint. And Turkish Prime Minister re rejected the accusations of being a dictator and dismissed the protesters as an extremist fringe. And he vowed to push ahead with plans to demolish a public park that ultimately sparked the unrest. Uh, the report from Istanbul now and RT correspondent Irina Galushka. The streets of Istanbul look like a scene from a war. Burnt cars, makeshift barricades, broken shop windows, not exactly what residents of the city are used to. This protest is not only uh, for Taksim Gezi Park, it's uh, the whole uh, policy uh, of governments. We are under pressure uh, for, uh, for about 10 years. The current chaos is the aftermath of the protests that gripped not just Istanbul, but some other cities and towns across Turkey. Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's policy on Syria, the increasing Islamization of the country and a major crackdown on the media. These are just few of the problems Turks have with their government. Many feel it doesn't serve the people, but rather works against them. My daughter was beaten because of what she was wearing, because her attackers were affiliated with the government. The police stood by and did nothing. All the uh, cars from the television, they move from here. I said, why you move? They got direction from the police. They couldn't make uh, live <laughs> interviews with the people. And this is the problem. What happened in Turkey was called a disgraceful use of excessive police force by Amnesty International. Water cannons, tear gas and pepper spray were all used against mostly peaceful protesters. Once the police retreated, however, the crowds turned their anger against the TV trucks of the state media, accusing stations of failing to broadcast the reality of Taksim Square. Hundreds of people wounded and talk of several deaths. This is the human toll of the clashes. On the street, politics is the hottest topic of conversation. Even an attempt to record an interview turns into a heated debate. This is a very strong experience for me, and uh, I can I can explain. Uh, I can explain. I will explain my son, my <laughs> grandson, uh, after after maybe ten years or five years. It began as a quiet, simple sit-in beside the Gezi Park. People were trying to save some trees in the middle of the city, but now they're saying they're trying to save Turkey from Erdogan and his government. And they say they won't leave until the prime minister does. In Istanbul, Irina Galushko, RT. And with police continuing their use of force against demonstrators all across Turkey, human rights groups have condemned them, saying some protests have been left permanently blinded by tear gas. Uh, this is a video which appeared on the internet, showing Turkish police apparently firing tear gas directly into civilians' homes. A separate footage here showing people seeking shelter at a local university. And uh, through the glass at the back of the room there, you can see what looks like a huge amount of tear gas being used by security forces. Uh, Sinan Tolun, uh, a former journalist at the Economic Press Agency, says the current turmoil is a response to Erdogan's failed policies, both domestic and foreign. Turkey, uh, before Erdogan government, was never interfering with our neighbors' internal affairs. But uh, it seems that under the under Erdogan government, Turkey is mainly serving to U.S. interests, not to Turkish interests. Uh, also, besides this, there is a deep-rooted wound in Turkish public because of our government so-called Kurdish separatism. And this Kurdish separatism, especially accelerated by the great Middle East initiative of United States and Israel policies. If Erdogan government does not correct its policies or if there is no uh, an early election in Turkey, these incidents and these protests may repeat itself several times in Turkey, and I think Erdogan government should watch out. 